Hey, Kellen Goodell here with the Charleston Parks Conservancy, and we were out here at Colonial Lake, and this morning we were talking about another um, common summer gardening task. We've talked about weeding, we've talked about summer pruning, and now we're going to talk about something that we haven't had to do a whole lot of because Mother Nature has been very kind, lots of rain, but we're going to talk briefly about effective watering. And watering is most important when you have a new install or when you have these really hot and humid summer days like we've had lately where we don't get that rain like we got the last few evenings so we're going to talk about effective watering now the best time to water is in the morning because it sets the plants up for the rest of the day you don't want to water them in the afternoon after they've already been cooking in the sun it's um, much like when you get dehydrated it's usually too late at that point they're going to suffer so if you can set them up for the day early in the morning is the best time to water especially if you have new plantings and then the most effective way to water is obviously soaking the root zones. Worry about the crown of the plant. They're not gonna absorb hardly any of their water through their leaves. Everything comes from the roots. So you get your hose running with some nice pressure and you really wanna focus on five to 10 seconds right in that root zone. Not too much, not too little. You know, each plant is different, but five to 10 seconds is usually the sweet spot right in that root zone and the plants are going to get a little moisture just as you're moving around from the misting. So you just focus on the soaking that soil, letting those roots absorb all that water. And then also anything in flower, flowering is the most uh, water needy function of a plant typically. So you're going to want to water things that are in flower a little more that'll help prolong the bloom period and help the plant look its best for a lot longer. And some plants show water stress more than others. So some plants are gonna be screaming for attention if they need water. And the things to look for is drooping and wilting of leaves. And this is a defense mechanism. It's the plant uh, exposing less surface area to the sun because it's losing water through its leaves. Much like we sweat, plants transpire and lose water. So that's a defense mechanism to keep them from losing more water. So again, water in the mornings, we're watering especially new plantings, watering things that are in flower and things that are screaming for attention. And if you um, want to help us out watering, we have a program called the Aqua Angels program that water in all of our parks over the summer, especially when it's hot, humid, and we get these periods without rain. But again, we've been very lucky. So if you want to help us keep the parks beautiful and, and hydrated, you can join the Aqua Angel program and help us water all of our parks. And hopefully we keep getting this rain, but please reach out if you would like to volunteer with us and water in the garden.